We primarily treat uh, chronic low back pain. Um, about 10% of the United States population has a chronic pain condition. Um, one of the most common is, is low back pain, as well as pain related to arthritis. One of the areas that we are currently studying and have integrated into our practice is the use of radiofrequency ablation of nerves around the knee to uh, prevent or treat chronic knee pain related to primary osteoarthritis, another very common condition amongst the United States population that, as we all know, is getting older. We're also getting uh, more overweight, which puts more strain on our joints and wears them out a little bit faster than other populations. In many patients, um, things, simple things like anti-inflammatories, physical therapy, ice, activity modification is enough to uh, treat their knee pain. But in a significant number of patients with uh, uh, primary osteoarthritis of the knee, those things don't work. And so um, in the past, people have performed uh, steroid injections inside of the joint. Um, these sometimes have uh, efficacy, but in other patients, it either doesn't last or it has significant side effects uh, that make that an untenable solution to the problem. A more chronic treatment uh, would be radiofrequency ablation of the nerves around the knee. This basically takes away some of the nerve supply to the knee joint so that patients don't feel their pain as much anymore. It uh, doesn't change the joint itself. It just changes the way sensations are delivered from the periphery through the spinal cord to the brain. So this is a procedure in which under local anesthesia and image guidance, typically done under x-ray, we place three needles uh, around the knee. Two are above the kneecap, one is below the kneecap. Um, after these needles are placed, an electrode is placed through each of those needles, and the electrode delivers heat to the tissue in a very discrete, measured area. So we're able to very specifically target these nerves and only uh, lesion or burn the nerve and not any other important tissue. So we have two clinical trials going right now. Um, thus far, we've been doing this procedure for about two years. Uh, over 200 knees have been treated. I would say 70 to 80% of the patients that have the procedure done, who we select based on uh, certain diagnostic criteria, have at least 50% improvement of their symptoms with an improvement of their function as well. Certainly it's not perfect, but neither are some of the other options available to patients with chronic knee pain, such as total knee replacement. That's a big operation, and not all patients that have a total knee replacement have improved function or an improvement of their pain. So we look at this procedure as another minimally invasive alternative treatment for patients with chronic knee pain that isn't a surgery. Yes, they walk out after the procedure. The procedure takes about 20 minutes per knee. Um, this is typically done with a little bit of sedation on board because it can be somewhat uncomfortable to have these needles placed. Uh, but it's, it's an outpatient procedure. Uh, patients return to their normal activities of daily living and work activity the following day. It usually takes two to four weeks for the full effect of the procedure to be seen. Um, and um, once patients are feeling better, we do recommend functional restoration or physical therapy, or if they weren't able to walk or bike or chase their grandchildren, you can start doing that if pain is the only thing that was keeping you from those activities. Thus far, we see that the procedure lasts approximately one year, give or take a couple of months. It is a procedure that can be repeated in the future if the patient's pain does come back. Um, obviously, more long-term studies are needed to see what the uh, you know, long-term efficacy of the procedure is and how many times it can be done. Uh, for example, in the lumbar spine, in the low back, uh, this procedure has been done on patients every year to two years if they have resumption of their symptoms. The indications for the procedure in the spine as well as in the knee 
is pain with limited range of motion. So the uh, goal is first to reduce the pain, secondly to use that period of pain relief as a period to rehabilitate the patient and get back to a more normal uh, uh, level of activity and function. And third, to hopefully restore range of motion if that was restricted by their primary disease process. I think it's another tool in our toolbox. One of the other things that's being explored um, uh, across the country and specifically here at Northwestern, we have started looking at uh, regenerative medicine, uh, which is the use of um, biologic materials to um, help repair uh, diseased joints or tissues. Um, so basically patients own tissue, particularly um, their blood for the use of platelet-rich plasma injections. That's harvested from the patient and re-injected into uh, arthritic joints or painful tendons or partially torn or frayed tendons to assist in their repair. Um, stem cell injections are another uh, emerging area in chronic pain management, as well as in the treatment of chronic degenerative disorders. Uh, so uh, these stem cells are typically harvested from a region of the hip or the sacrum. Uh, these are prepared as a centrifuge and then re-injected into the patient. Um, unlike conventional steroid injections that had been used for the treatment of chronic pain, the use of stem cells and platelet-rich plasma typically takes a longer period of time to work, uh, but it may in fact be more effective than steroids, and because it's a uh, natural material from the patient themselves, um, you're not dealing with a lot of the side effects that medications like steroids can cause. So regenerative medicine is really in its earliest stages, and under such conditions, uh, most insurance companies, and certainly uh, Medicare, Medicaid, don't cover these procedures. Um, there is, of course, an out-of-pocket expense uh, for patients to have these procedures done. We need more randomized controlled trials that show that this is a, an efficacious, safe procedure that's better than other alternatives that are currently available or other less expensive alternatives that are currently available.